Tatiana Derevadisian from Economist Impact's World Ocean Initiative. Um, and I'm excited to have here with me today Kendra McDonald, CEO of Canada's Ocean Supercluster, and John Risley, Chairman and CEO of CFFI Ventures Inc., to talk about the exciting news that we are um, launching an inaugural event, the World Ocean Tech and Innovation Summit, later this year, which will be taking place in Halifax, Canada. With the support of three core funders, Canada's Ocean Supercluster, Halifax Partnership, and Nova Scotia's Department of Inclusive Economic Growth and others, we will be launching this important event that will focus on how we can bridge the gap between investment and innovation in the blue economy. Halifax seemed like a natural location for this event, given the budding ocean tech startup scene. And of course, more broadly, Canada is globally recognized as one of the countries leading the development of their blue economy sustainably, which is, of course, a, for a core focus of the World Ocean Initiative's mission. Kendra, thank you for being here today. Can you tell us why is this important for Halifax in particular? Yeah, so we're really excited to see this event come to Halifax. So certainly Canada overall, we're seeing an increased level of activity um, and focus on the blue economy and an increase in the number of startups. And in Halifax in particular, we have a number of um, uh, various activities, whether it's a significant activity happening at Dalhousie University with our Ocean Frontier Institute, whether it's our Center for Ocean Ventures and Entrepreneurship, which is based in Dartmouth, as well as a number of other complementary initiatives. So we're really excited uh, to be able to bring this activity to, to Halifax, to feature Halifax, Atlanta, Canada, and Canada more broadly. Okay, great. And, and John, um, why is driving investment and an event that focuses around this so important right now? Because there's huge opportunity in the ocean economy generally, and, and, and not just because of the sort of whether we're shading it blue or shading it green, um, but Halifax is being and the region is being recognized as a center for ocean research and ocean, more importantly, entrepreneurship built on top of that research. So much of the research over the years has been government funded, never commercialized, never with a sort of commercial orientation, and we're seeing a huge change in that now with with as Kendra says, a lot of new startups, a lot of investment coming into entrepreneurial ventures designed to commercialize research, and um, it's great to see it happening here in Atlantic Canada. Can you can you tell us more about the current investment landscape and um, some of these how some of these research projects are coming to life? Yeah, sure. So. Um, the 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 what we're calling sort of the uh, the ocean based ecosystem, which is everything from what's happening in the university community to what's happening in incubators. Um, most of the entrepreneurial activity, if you like, non-ocean based is very focused on Atlantic Canada and the region. In oceans, it's more globally focused and we are attracting a lot of people from around the world to come here and uh, and carry out either ocean-based research or to commercialize their ocean economy ideas, taking advantage of the ecosystem and the support infrastructure um, that we've got here. Canada for a long time has sort of been seen as as a sleepy place for, if you like, uh, the ocean economy. And uh, its primary claim to fame was that it had, it had coastline on three oceans, but um, uh, but its ocean economy uh, wasn't on fire. That has completely changed in the last uh, 10 years. And the ocean economy here is is absolutely alight. And uh, with new ventures, um, even uh, on, on the sort of frontier, if you like, of, of traditional activity, whether it be in wild fishing, aquaculture, offshore oil, um, it's great to see. And, and, and Kendra, how is Ocean Tech going to contribute uh, more broadly to this, um, to, to creating a sustainable ocean economy? And, and tell us a little bit more about the mission of Canada's Ocean Supercluster um, and why it's, uh, why it's so distinct from other blue clusters in the world. 
Yeah, so I think that we're really just scratching the surface of what can be done in terms of building a sustainable blue economy. So Canada's Ocean Supercluster is really focused on, you know, changing the way we do business in oceans. So making our ocean economy in Canada much more collaborative uh, from coast to coast to coast, being able to build more digital, uh, sustainable and as well as an inclusive workforce uh, in terms of our focus areas. So we are seeing just a number of projects um, across a number of themes. So anything from electrification, which not only reduces emissions, but also noise pollution in terms of um, in the ocean, we are seeing uh, broader alternative fuels, um, smart coatings, uh, being able to change the coating on a hull, which reduces uh, both leaching in the water as well as drag and reducing emissions. We're seeing carbon capture, an increase in uncrewed vessels, which actually reduces overall footprint on the water. Uh, lots of focus on data collection, whether that's environmental monitoring or fish tracking to be able to make better decisions, which again uh, leads to um, better outcomes. And uh, finally, just around um, uh, being able to, um, you know, improve all of that together, being able to improve overall uh, overall decision making and uh, better solutions, and doing that with a number of projects that are um, building a more inclusive workforce. These are complicated challenges, and so we need to bring all the best minds um, from all over to be able to solve these challenges. And, and what kind of outcomes do you hope that this event will bring? Um, John, if you want to maybe um, answer that first, and then Kevin. Yeah, sure. Um, look, we we. we uh, we're sort of feeling that uh, uh, we're at the center of the of the world, if you like, of the ocean world. But uh, I think um, everybody tends to sort of put up their hand and say, "Hey, the center is here." Um, but we want, uh, I think, uh, uh, more of a global imprint. We want people to recognize the opportunity that's resident resident here. Uh, we're on the cusp of a whole bunch of things. The world is, I mean, in in terms of harnessing offshore uh, energy, uh, clean hydrogen. These are vast new huge investment opportunities and we think Atlantic Canada is positioned to play a meaningful role in uh, in such opportunities and uh, so this is a uh, this event here in Halifax is not just designed to give everybody a, a good time because Halifax is uh, is a great party town it's designed to ensure people understand um, that this is if you're interested in the ocean economy Halifax should be on your map Kendra yeah, I mean, this is really an opportunity for us to shine a spotlight on everything that's happening here. I think the timing is great for us from a supercluster perspective. We're now four years in, so we're starting to see a number of the outcomes, early outcomes of our projects. So being able to talk about that, but also to be able to feature just the level of activity and the level of energy that is here. I think that, you know, being here and being able to experience it even for a couple of days will really give people a sense of the, the on fire that John talked about earlier and the level of energy and momentum and we're really just getting started. And, and, and can you just maybe expand a little bit more about how you see, um, how you see an organization like Canada's Ocean Supercluster and Halifax as a city um, helping support um, other uh, economies around the world to develop their own, um, their own ocean startup scenes as well, tech? Yeah, so, so great question. I mean, we are now that we have sort of our, our portfolio, we are starting to see increasing interest around the world in terms of what it is that we're doing and the model that we're using. So we are relatively unique in terms of our cross sectoral collaboration, which is drawing a lot of attention. I think that increasingly as we move into things like automation and uh, future workforce, these are challenges that are cross sectoral. And so we need to think about how we are working together. So there's a lot of interest in that. I think there's a lot of interest to in the momentum that we're seeing in terms of technology adoption um, and so how can we replicate some of that so I think there will be increasing partnership opportunities in future uh, for us to be able to work and support as well as obviously what we're really excited about which is bringing our solutions to the world which is part of what our pro projects are designed to do in terms of commercializing their technologies. Thank you both. Um, this is this is fantastic, and we're very much looking forward to hosting this event um, later this year. Uh, we will be launching um, registrations um, during um, the event, so please look out for the links um, to apply to um, attend. Um, and of course, you'll be hearing more about um, in you know the opportunities around investment and um, the ocean tech scene. At the thank you both.